Nakamitsu Takizaki was born in 1945, just before the end of World War II. He grew up in a poor family and had to work hard to support himself. He studied at a technical high school and got a job at a foreign machinery company. He was fascinated by electronics and automation and decided to start his own business in 1974. He founded Keyens, a company that specialized in sensors and other components for factory automation systems. He had a vision of creating products that were easy to use, reliable, and innovative. He also adopted a direct sales model that allowed him to reach customers faster and more efficiently. He led Keynes to become one of the world's leading suppliers of automation solutions, with customers in various industries such as automotive, electronics, and food packaging. He stepped down as chairman in 2015 but remained as honorary chairman and board member. He is also a passionate fossil collector and philanthropist. He donated shares worth nearly $3 billion to his foundation in 2022. As of June 2023, he is the second richest person in Japan and the 69th richest person in the world, with a net worth of $23.2 billion. One of the early challenges that Takizaki faced was his struggle to find his niche in the technology industry. He worked for several companies before starting his own business, but none of them satisfied his passion for innovation and quality. He also faced competition from other established players in the market one. Another challenge that Takizaki faced was the difficult process of founding Keynes Corporation. He had to raise capital, recruit talent, develop products, and market them to customers. He also had to deal with legal and regulatory issues, such as obtaining patents and licenses. He faced many risks and uncertainties along the way one. As Keynes has expanded globally, Takizaki has had to overcome cultural and language barriers, navigate complex regulatory environments, and build relationships with new customers and partners. He also had to adapt to changing customer needs and preferences, as well as technological advancements and disruptions. He had to balance innovation with profitability and sustainability. He learned the importance of innovation and quality in creating products that meet customer needs and expectations. He also learned how to leverage technology to create competitive advantages and efficiencies. He learned the value of direct sales and customer service, which enabled him to establish trust and loyalty with his clients. He also learned how to adapt to different markets and cultures as he expanded his business globally. He learned the benefits of philanthropy and social responsibility as he donated a large portion of his wealth to his foundation, which supports education, science, and culture. He also learned how to balance his personal and professional life as he pursued his hobbies and interests such as fossil collecting. 